Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. My viewers, my subscribers, we'll be putting the birthday greetings videos on hold for now. We'll resume as soon as possible, but we have to put it on hold for right now. We are going to have to sort out a few internal issues before we resume. All right? Bear with me. Now, when we start today's journey, we'll be heading to Grange Hill in the parish of Westmoreland. We are still on our way to Ginger Hill in the parish of Anova. Continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. So, we spoke to Mr. Clive Williams on Wednesday. We spoke to his wife yesterday, Friday. We have also gotten a response from the baby mother. We are hoping to have a chat with her. But tomorrow, Sunday, January 15, I'll be dropping part 3 of the saga. Trust me when I tell you, you are not going to want to miss part 3. And I have seen the comments. <laughs> yeah man, I've seen the comments. Some of you, you are saying that I'm using this channel to engage in Pasa Pasa and carry go bring come that a fihono business lest we forget lest we forget or if you forget let me remind you only one person and one person only decide on what content is to be carried on this channel one person if you don't want to watch a particular video no worry yourself. I have over 950 videos on this channel. There are a lot more for you to watch. Alright? Now, today, I'm going to be telling you about some Jamaican phrases. I'm going to be giving you their English translation. And also, I'm going to be telling you what they mean. You ever hear the phrase? Dog, nyam your supper? You ever hear it? <laughs> the English translation is, Dog will eat your supper. It means, if you are not careful with what you have, you are going to lose it. How about this one? Dopino who fi frighten. The English translation is, a ghost knows who to scare. <laughs> it means, persons will take advantage of those who are easily influenced or scared. Another one is, when fire and water make friend, anybody can live. <laughs> you know what that means? Well, the English translation is When fire and water make friends, anybody can live. It means if two enemies can make up, then everyone can live in peace. How about this one? One hand can clap. The English translation is One hand cannot clap. It means you have to work with others to achieve a common goal you can't do it alone the last one for today is every day devil help thief one day god will help watchman the english translation is every day the devil helps the thief but one day god will help the watchman it means even though evil people seem to be succeeding all the time Good people should not be discouraged because eventually they will win. <laughs> Stand by. There is a lot more to come. But in today's news, this one took place yesterday afternoon. Friday, January 13, 2022, about 12.30. Now, here is what we are learning. A man, his name is Mr. Mark Garrity. Mark, he was about 60 years old and it is said that he was in construction. Mark, he's from Q Crescent in Sheffield in the United Kingdom. Now, Mark and his wife, they arrived in Jamaica on Sunday, January 8th, and they had planned to spend two weeks in Jamaica. They were staying at the Rio Tropical Bay Hotel in Negril. Now, yesterday, Mark and his wife, they went on a boat with about 20 other guests who were also staying at the same hotel. They went out to sea to do snorkeling. While they were in the ocean swimming, it is said that Mark, he complained that he was feeling some pain in his back. A few moments later, Mark was observed floating in the water. 
He was assisted by lifeguards on the boat and he was pulled from the water. It is said that whilst Mark was on the boat, he was moving his legs and he was also vomiting. CPR was rendered by the trained lifeguards on the boat. Despite their best efforts, it is said that Mark, he appeared unresponsive. He was taken to shore and he was rushed to the nurse's station at the hotel. Mark, he was still unresponsive. He was eventually pronounced DEAD by a doctor. A post-mortem examination will be done to ascertain what caused the death of Mark. Now, I am suspecting that this was some kind of medical condition. I might be wrong, but can you imagine what Mrs. Garrity is going through right now? <laughs> Sad indeed. Condolences to her and the rest of Mark's family. May his soul find rest. Now, that man on your screen, his name is Gregory Jones. Gregory, he's popularly known as Kiapo and on March 8th this year, Kiapo, he would be celebrating his 44th birthday. Kiapo, he's originally from a place named Greentown in the Monroe area of St. Elizabeth, but he was living at Petersville in the White House police area with his common-law wife. Kiapo, he was the father of three children, one daughter and two sons. Now, Kiapo, he was a building contractor. He was a very good carpenter. He was a mason. He was a steel man. You name it. We are told that Kiapo, he has taught many youngsters the various trades that he was good at. Kiapo himself was a tradesman from he was about 17 years old. Yesterday, Friday, January 13, 2023, about some minutes after 11 o'clock in the morning. Kiapo, he was doing what he knows best. He was working. He was working on a house that's under construction at the White House Beach Club at Culloden in the White House area of Westmoreland. We are learning that Kiapo, he was in the process of installing a steel cage on a wall at the house when he lost his balance and fell. It is said that Kiapo, he fell on a piece of steel. The piece of steel, it was in a vertical position. Now, <laughs> can you picture that? The steel, it pierced Kiapo to the right side of his chest. And that was it for hard-working Kiapo. He was rushed by one of his co-workers to the Black River Public Hospital, but it was too late. Kiapo was pronounced D-E-A-D on arrival. Sad indeed. Condolences to Kiapo's family and friends. May his soul find rest. Now, over in the parish of St. James, we are told that a number of illegal firearms and ammunition were recovered by the St. James police over the past few days. We are gathering the details and tomorrow, we are going to tell you some more about those recoveries. Stand by for that. But over in the parish of Westmoreland, a brother is in police custody for allegedly pointing an illegal gun at his sister. This is alleged to have taken place on Tuesday morning, December 6, 2022, about 8 o'clock. It's alleged to have taken place at 117 Darling Street in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that a man, his name is Andrew Hunter and he is 36 years old. Andrew is living at 117 Darling Street in Savannah Lamar. Now, for years, Andrew and his sister, she's about two years younger than him. They have been embroiled in a long-standing family dispute. The allegations are that the sister, she was traveling in a car. Now, this car was said to be driven by her common-law husband. It is further alleged that on reaching a certain section along the road, a group of men, to include Andrew, was standing on the roadway. It is further alleged that whilst the sister and her boyfriend, they were passing in the car, Andrew, he pulled a gun and pointed it in his sister's face. It is said that her common-law husband, on seeing this, he sped off. A report was subsequently made to the police. Now, on Tuesday of this week, Andrew, he appeared at the Savannah Lamar Parish Court, where he had another matter in court. 
Andrew, he was pointed out to the police and he was arrested and taken into police custody. He has since been charged by the police for one, assault at common law and two, possession of prohibited weapon and Andrew, he'll be going to the courts shortly. <laughs> Why may I tell you? So, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Now, in the final story for today, this one took place last night. Friday, January 13, 2023, about some minutes to 10 o'clock. It took place right in the vicinity of the Thrifty gas station on Barnett Street in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. Now, for those who know the Thrifty gas station on Barnett Street, you will know that it's just a stone throw away from the Barnett Street Police Station. So, this is what we are learning. That man on your screen, his name is Dwayne Gibson, but he's popularly known as Artist. Artist is 30 years old and he lived at Gravel Lane in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. It is said that Artist and about three of his friends, they were walking along Barnett Street when on reaching in the vicinity of the thrifty gas station, they were approached by a hoodlum who was armed with a gun. It is said that the men, they ran off in different directions, but from all indication, it seemed as if Artist was the man who the hoodlum wanted. The hoodlum chased Artist and opened a barrage of gunshots at him. Artist, he was hit several times. He collapsed and fell to the ground. The hoodlum, he then made good his escape. A 24-year-old man known as Naldo, he was just walking along the road, going about his business. He was also shot. Naldo, he received a gunshot wound to his right leg. Both Naldo and Artist, they were taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where Artist, he was pronounced D-E-A-D and Naldo, he was treated and admitted. We are told that when this crime scene was processed, Eight 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. China. 